good afternoon, not good morning. Uh, this is a bit of a short one, I'm guessing. Yeah, um, I've just done a morning shoot with Craig, Craig Yates of Craig Yates Photography. And rather than sort of end the day, uh, we're going to do a bit of a wrap up, but I thought let's go somewhere in the peak that was close by and has got a bit of interest but there was a challenge given that what we've been doing this morning is about challenging our photography so i've bought into a stone circle called arbor low it's a very old one it's a very big one but the challenge is all the stones are flat so they're all fallen so that makes it quite difficult so i'll show you the circle in a second but uh, I'm going to just sort of drift over to where there's a sign and you can get an idea of what it used to look like. So there you go. That's how they reckon the stone circle looked as a you know, embankment all around it. There's your beautiful stones, little middle bit for all your naughty rituals or possibly just as a shopping centre, which it could have been. Think Primark. So... Uh, yeah, um, I think it's about three, th oh, four and a half thousand years old, this is. So this kind of place is very interesting, I think, you know, if you're into your history. Where's this gate open? Oh, God. Uh, it's very interesting, but can we make it photographically interesting? Now, so I've been here before and I've flown the drone over and that sort of stuff, and that's great drone shots shooting straight down, marvellous. And I've also been at sunset, and there was a there's a group of trees over there and the sun was coming down it looked quite cool but the actual the stone circle couldn't really make it a part of it so i'm going to find out what craig thinks and then i'll i'll walk you around give you a bit of a tour and see what you think craig yates what do you think craig oh, I've done it. have you yeah you got some good shots you oh, think the rocks. it is actually well, it's, well it's not a pile is it it's well, not a been, pile they've been put into an arrangement yeah, it's an arrangement of rocks, not a pile, Craig, actually. All right, so he reckons he's done it. <laughs> um, so I think it's challenging to make this look good. Do you not agree? Do you think it's a walk in the park? Uh, you just need to be up there, yeah. looking down, getting some height, otherwise you're a drone shot, aren't you? Well, yeah, definitely but spoken about the merits of a drone. A um, I'm going to swing this round. Okay, it is windy up here, but the rocks don't care about that. So as you can see, these are well weather-beaten rocks. Now, big plus on this, texture, the patterns, uh, the discoloration, a little, little bit of lichen on there. So the rocks have all got character, you know? Uh, let's go to the centerpiece. There's some great character here, but can we make it into interesting compositions? So the way we're approaching shooting the stones is by ignoring them and just walking straight across to where there's a sign about the barrow because we want to see if they know who was buried in the barrow. God, it'd be ace if his name was like King Wheel and that's the wheelbarrow. Okay, so hopefully with the footage you've seen the challenge. The challenge is to make this uh, compositionally interest interesting. I, I mean, I can get photographs all day. I mean, it's the big difference in it between a photograph and a composition. So I'm looking at lines um, like here. You see how these sweep around. That's quite nice. I like that. I think what, what I'm not going to get is the whole circle. I think to think I could would be folly and boring so instead I'm, I'm going to get quite low or below see what I've done I've been doing dad jokes all day by the way so there's something wrong with me um, so yeah I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to start moving in sections almost like it was a clock and just to see which ones line up well uh, obviously I'm going to do some black and white because it's the get out of jail free card um, there's, there's a nice mound over there and if the clouds go over it with shapely form that could be quite nice with these you know with a couple of these rocks there a couple with a dog that's always good okay i'm gonna get a camera out now start doing some shots and i'll just fire them up i'm not gonna piss about too much unless i come up against something like really interesting which is doubtful
Okay, so took a few shots with the, with the 50, 50 mil prime, and return it. Uh, I'm gonna use the 15 to 30 now, just so I can get in close, but then have the space either side of the rocks. That's the plan. I don't know if this will work. I'm gonna give it a go. There's some nice ones that kind of at an angle pointing up. I'm gonna try and shoot them. Good colors on them. I've been using a pretty healthy mix of F11 to, re, you know, to bring everything in sharp as best I can and trying not to bracket. I don't want to do that. Uh, and then the, the 50 mil for those sort of closer shots, especially where I'm trying to like lighten it up a little bit and take advantage of the contrast and the rocks, the color, the lichen. Uh, I think that's worked out well. I'm gonna take just a few more shots. Just show you where there's, there's a kind of a piling up of the rocks here. You can probably see, I won't hope. I'm gonna keep this as low as possible, but this, this group here, that, but I want to make sure I'm going to lift this. See that space? I want to do. I do want to show the space in them. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. I think that'll look nice, especially with the lumpy hills in the background. So I'm actually quite enjoying this. Um, Almost all of these rocks, maybe not all of them, but they, they've definitely got character to them. And, and that's that's what I like to try and capture. Um, and the closer I've got to them, the more I've seen in the shape and textures, uh, weeds growing out from some of them, that sort of thing. And yeah, it, it's, it's, it's different from, you know, the standing stone circles that I photographed before. I've not made a big fuss of it, but if you look at Castle Rig, in the drone video I did, a staggering, staggering monument. Um, and I never really thought this place was somewhere I'd want to shoot uh, after visiting a couple of times. You know, the drone photography, or rather the drone shots were fine. Um, but I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this. I think the, the colours uh, are wonderful. Um, the, the little pools of water through. I wish, I wish that got a macro lens i've not got one it's going to have to go, i'll have to go on the shopping list I, I want a macro lens now i'm really starting to feel it as i get more into this uh close-up work i think it's uh i think it's showing another side of me that noisy thing up there is craig's drone which he's deliberately just flown over me by the way let me just uh help him out twat cheap drone anyway so uh, yeah, right, I'm really enjoying this. Um, I think, think it might inspire me to do a little bit more of this type of photography where I go to these places where they are literally flat <laughs> and see if I can produce something from it where I'm not looking for the big picture. Um, hopefully, you know, you might do the same. Or perhaps you already do and you can say in the comments, Ed, we've been doing this for ages, why don't you just catch up? I get it, I get it. Well, unfortunately, I, I was really getting into the swing of this, even with the shite cloud cover, putting factor four. And um, it started raining now in this certainly ominous clouds coming our way. So I'm just walking up to the top of the, bar uh, well, it's not the barrow, but the, what you call it, the embankment around the stone circle. I'm not going to get a great shot up here, but I think I should take one just for the hell of it. And our gear's in the middle as well, so it's hardly going to be one for the portfolio. Well, I thought it might be nice for you folks who haven't seen Arbolo to get a, a look at it, get an idea of the scale. So, I'll wrap up now. Like, share, subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Hope you've liked this shorter one. And I'll see you for the next one.